little bit of a different vlog today because we're gonna we're gonna make something. I've been designing a lampshade and it's got cows all the way around it. There's four different colours. There's yellow, there's blue, there's pink and there's green. The collection's called Mood Lighting. <laughs> It's going to be a kit, a DIY kit, so you make the lamp yourself. But I'm going to show you how, stage by stage, so it's really easy to do. And I mean it's really easy to do because I can do it, so you're going to be absolutely fine. There's one behind me, just there, and we've got one in the box here. So if you order yourself a kit online, this is what you get, a DIY table lamp kit. And I'm going to show you all the bits and pieces that are in the box and um, I'm going to show you stage by stage how to put it all together. In your DIY mood lighting box you will have a plastic gridded sheet. We'll talk more about that in a second some step-by-step -step instructions, light fittings, a top ring, and a bottom ring, a plastic insert, some double-sided industrial tape, finishing tool. You'll also have either a blue, a yellow, pink or green cow print that will make your lampshade. And this is the fabric. This PVC backing meets the regulations of fire standards and health and safety. It also has recommendations from the Lighting Association that it doesn't yellow, dry or crack. And this is the important bit of kit that will attach to your fabric and help make your lampshade. The frame, the top and the bottom, will help keep the shape. So if you can imagine, that stands about so high. The double-sided sticky tape helps stick the fabric to the frame. And this unusual little ring actually goes inside the bottom ring to make it suitable for UK electrical fittings. And that just goes in like that. The extra bits and pieces that might be handy are a couple of scissors. I say a couple because it's handy for one to cut the material and another pair to cut your double-sided sticky tape. You don't want your fabric getting messed up with your sticky scissors. Make sure your working area is nice and flat, nice and clean, free of dust and you've moved your cup of tea away. <laughs> and the very first job is to adhere the fabric to the PVC panel. Get your piece of fabric and turn it face down. Make sure you've got any dust or hairs out of the way and also make sure you remember which is the top and which is the bottom because it would look awful if your cows were upside down. Well, it wouldn't look awful, it would just look, it would just look funny. <laughs> If you do that, send me a photo. <laughs> anyway, if you want your cows the right way up, do remember which way up it's going. So I'm just double checking. I've got the top of my cow, the head of the cow on my left, and I've got the flowers of the pit, bottom of the picture on my right. You've got your cows facing the table. You've got your PVC sheet, red square, facing down on the material, because that's where it's going to stick. Come closer 
and come closer. Maybe count one, two, three, four, five squares down. You want to peel four or five squares down to start sticking your fabric to the PVC sheet. And it just peels away very easily. Don't peel it all the way off because you're getting a sticky mess. Just four or five squares down. And then curl it over your fingers like that. Almost like your fingers are in a scissor motion and they're gripping the square paper. You want to centre your PVC template on the print and you'll be able to see that. From the middle, press down and push out. Use your fist, smooth it into the fabric like that. So you stuck those four or five squares down and you'll be able to see that there's a bit of squared backing paper that you're able to pull away but you want to pull it away gradually and stick gradually so this is how I do it I push at the top and I start to pull away start to pull away while I'm smoothing the PVC backing onto the fabric if I turn this around that way you'll get a different view so I'm pulling smoothing just a little at a time if you did it all in one go you'd very easily stick the PVC backing or squeeze with and your cows might look a little bit a little bit drunk so bit by bit then using your fabric scissors, I want you to cut away the excess material and use your PVC backing as a template so you're cutting right up the edge of that backing. So there you have one PVC fabric backed element of your lampshade. Okay, so the next stage, bring two long scored lines on the PVC backing. This is where we peel those edges away. Fold over the edges and you'll hear a cracking noise as the plastic snaps. This helps us peel away the edge. And then what I want you to do is to push the larger area, the inner section, down while you pull up the plastic very carefully away from the fabric and same on the other side so push down on one side pull up on the other it allows you to get a little lift and then just pull that gently away what you end up with is almost like a hem that can be folded over the pvc template grab your double-sided sticky tape we're going to use one side and stick that double-sided sticky tape right up to the edge and this will help you stick down your seam Oops. we've got two long fold over edges ready and we've got one double sided sticky seam prepared and stuck down I'm moving that to one side for a second you need your double sided sticky tape and your top and your bottom row. You're going to attach the double sided sticky tape to the ring and you're going to place it so the ring hits the middle of the double sided sticky tape. Work your way around and get your sticky scissors, then fold the sticky around the ring. And then repeat the process with the bottom ring. So, double sided sticky tape in the centre. Use the double sided sticky tape around the ring. Peel away that back side of the sticky. 
do your bottom ring first because you can place that down pull that away now this is sticky and if you stick it down to the table it's going to stick to the table so keep hold of this bring over your cows and your pvc is facing you this is where it's really important you remember and you double check which is up and which is down which is top and which is bottom so let's double check so i think i think this is top yes it's top and this is definitely bottom brilliant so bottom for the bottom top for the top start with the top ring and start to place it as close to the edge of the pvc on the top side and give it a little roll to get going and the pvc will start to stick to it hold that there it will hold itself there and then using your bottom ring for the bottom side with the legs pointing out towards the bottom do exactly the same lining up as close to the edge as you can and rolling just a little to get the start it starting to stick to it and you want to do this the top and the bottom at the same time but do it bit by bit so just gonna roll the top a little then roll the bottom roll the top check in I'm in line and then roll the bottom roll the top roll the bottom roll the top and roll the bottom and rolling forward again I move a few inches on one side and then move a few more on the other Keep checking both sides, keep rolling, and there we go, all the way around. So you can see your seam edge isn't actually sticking yet because you haven't peeled away that sticky, that double sided sticky tape. So now's the time. So just peel back, reach inside of the lamp and push your fingers down the seam. Do that a few times just to really make sure that seam sticks and it's as flat as possible. Grab your fabric scissors and where you can see your legs are, the fabric needs to fold over. So you're going to make a little cut as close as you possibly can get to the legs. And that will help you fold the material over. If you pull the material tight and start to ease it over and around the ring so it folds up on the inside. Pull tight and then repeat on the top where you've got a double fold over. Cut away the inner square. Pull the material nice and tight and stick it over. Take your time doing this bit. There you have your cows wrapped all the way around that lampshade. You've got the hems stuck around neatly and what you're going to do now is use this triangle finishing tool. You can use the jaggedy edge or a smooth edge, whichever you prefer, and you're going to fold and smooth and encourage the edge of the material in under the ring of the lamp. This can take a little bit of time, so have patience with it. Be careful with this bit. It needs to be a firm hand, but not too firm that you're going to poke through the material. You will hear little cracks, but that's the double-sided sticky tape separating away from the fabric as you push a new bit of fabric in and under, and that's absolutely fine. That's a positive noise, so don't worry about that. I usually start on the seam, start to push in and away.
have all your edges tucked in, both top and bottom, and that's your lampshade. So all you need to do now is attach the light fit. Unscrew the top from the bottom. Feed the bottom through the bottom and then reach in inside with the top and screw in place. Ta-da! There's your mood lighting. So you just need an Edison light bulb and <laughs> and there's your mood lighting. Shakes me to the core 